the nationals and the senior national team, men's national team, that's the Super Eagles uh, of uh, Nigeria. They're going to be uh, playing in Sierra Leone. That's in the um, 2021 AFCON qualifier. And uh, the sport minister uh, has been uh, inspecting uh, the Asaba Stadium. That's the Stephen Keshi Stadium where that match uh, is going to play. We're seeing shots of the pool. Um, yeah, of course. They won't be needing that unless for uh, yeah. just recreation, I think, well, yeah, recreation perhaps. I think perhaps. <laughs> what he was trying to do was just take a look at the whole facilities, what it's like, because yeah. everyone has been talking about this stadium. He was like, okay, let me come and see. Not just looking at the lush pitch and all yeah. that, but the feed and everything. But let's take a look at other things around it. And that's what he was trying to do, asking questions and you know, what are these useful and everything. And they said, okay, they're still building. I mean, other things still need to be put in place and all. You know, they're going to have indoor sports hall and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're doing. That's why he had to go through all of this. Looks before, all completed. You know. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is where this is more like a storeroom. Yeah. Some of the things they will still fix, you know, you know, around and everything. So that's why I had to start with this one before going to the field, which mm -hmm. is important. It, it's a full package. It's, it's not. Full he, he, right he's now. not the football minister. He's a sports minister. Yeah. So if he goes to a facility, I reckon he would want to look at all the facility yeah. um, 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 arrangements. What's available? What's mm. obtainable? What's being maintained or not? And this is good to see but that the, is, um, the turf, yeah, the greens are back the up. Yeah, yeah, the greens are back up because they were looking a bit patchy yeah. some months ago. Um, what I'm interested in is to see whether the um, the drainages, the irrigation in the uh, in the stadium for the grasses, if it's better, if now. It's better because one thing I noticed in Asa. I believe we met in Asaba during the Kasaba um, <laughs> Destin event and some other fixtures. Um, when it rains in this Okowa Stadium, it becomes flooded and then uh, the tracks... It goes are, immediately, yeah, so uh, it goes out immediately. And yeah, I, I believe stay. they've been working on it mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I believe they've been working, working on it. Right and the sprinklers are up and working, running, so. so it feels like at least they're trying to maintain the Asaba Stadium as it stands. Okay. And good one too for the swimming pool because the swimming pool was a cause of contention some mm -hmm. years and ago. Now, oh, we're not going to go there. We're talking about... <laughs> Well, Super Eagles now preparing <laughs> for uh, yeah. the AFCON qualifier against Sierra Leone. Let's listen to the sports minister. He's impressed with it, but he didn't rate it as a grade A. But he said it's for his international standard, which is uh, a plus for Delta State. This is uh, an inspection ahead of the March 27th uh, World Cup uh, qualifier against Sierra Leone. We had planned to host it in uh, uh, Ugwe Stadium in Edo, but because of the National Sports Festival, the governor of Delta State was gracious enough to support us to host it here. I'm glad with what I've seen uh, on the, the football pitch particularly. The sprinklers are working. You can see the lushness of the grass. Uh, this is a, almost a 15,000 capacity stadium. It has hosted so many games, international games before. I've also seen a number of other facilities. Um, and the truth is that I've been to several stadiums across the country. I think this is the busiest stadium I've seen. Terraces are fine. The covered stands are there. The pitch, which is the most important, is there. The drainage. Uh, you see the multimedia. You see the floodlights. You see the scoreboard. You have a complete stadium. That's what you need anywhere. And I think it's a, it's a, it meets international standard. It might not be grade A, but this meets international standard. I'm excited because you see that the interest in sports not just in Delta, but across the country is beginning to grow. And I see a lot of young people, young talents involved in different sports coming out every day to, to train. I hope that what I've seen in Delta today can be replicated in other states of uh, the Federation. And as we look forward to the National Sports Festival, 36 states coming, we'll see a renaissance in sports development across the country. All right, that's the sports minister there just giving us insight how impressed he is with the stadium and also, of course, touchdown on the sports festival and the facilities in Asaba Delta State. Let's leave him and talk about uh, what the Super Eagles, of course, we mentioned earlier, they're preparing for the Sierra Leone game and NFF is actually focusing on that. Even when questions came up concerning uh, getting raw contracts, I mean, he says, look, the focus is on how the Super Eagles can qualify for the Nations Cup. We listen to him. We'll come back, we'll go on a break, and then we'll talk about match day 24 of the Nigeria Professional Football League. The coach is still till June, and um, we don't want to make mistakes we made in the past, so we're very, very careful in looking at every line of the contract before they present it to him. You know, and once they present it to him, he will look at it and say, we accept this or we don't accept this. 
then it's not just a one-day discussion, but we have a very crucial game coming up. We want to qualify for the Nations Cup, beating Serie alone, home and away. Once we do that, we've qualified. I don't want any distraction. And the coach and I, we talk every day. We are, we are happy with the relationship so far. And that, um, like I said, he has done very well, you know, but he can do better. He can also, uh, on the pitch, I think he's been, he's been quite excellent. But he's a human being, which of course, subject to some mistakes that perhaps he, have, he may have made. Maybe man management, he, he doesn't have that, but he has to learn it, you know. But those are just, by the way, what is quite integral is looking at the provisions of the contract, you know, which NFF is very keen about. Once he's able to accept that, then we are good to go. But if he's not, he's not an island, that one is certain.